Hey guys, this is Jean-Claude. You will never guess what we're doing today. It's gonna be a deck opening. What? Are you kidding me right now? When's the last time we done one of these? All right, uh, we're actually done with all the patron openings, so this one will actually be uh, finally for me again. Gonna be looking for some decks to take to upcoming Vault Tours, maybe some uh, or other sort of championships. The Vault Warrior, I believe we need to use the brand new set, so need something good. We got a Yellow Archon. Start off with this. Star Alliance. Oh, and Sorians. Okay, both brand new houses are in this deck. Holy crap. Look how much of this circle this artwork is covering. That is wild, and that's kind of neat. Look at those, like, eyes. I don't know how well you can see that because it's yellow. It's Guard Clyde Natstone. All right, let's see what we got inside. All right, dropping down the checklist, and we're starting off with Star Alliance. It's Xeno Training, Amber whenever you play it. For each house represented among friendly creatures, a friendly creature captures an Amber. Good to see Amber Control right off the bat. Psy Officer Morpheus, two power, one armor. After you play a creature with a play effect, trigger its play effect an additional time. <laughs> this card is so good inside of Star Alliance. Come on, give us all those play effects. And right off the bat, we see one, it's Information Officer Gray. Four power, play, fight, reap. You may reveal a non-Star Alliance card from your hand. If you do, archive it. You gotta love the cycling that Star Alliance has. Force Field, it's an upgrade. Amber, whenever you play it, this creature gains reap. Ward this creature. Zap, Amber, whenever you play it, deal one damage to a creature for each house represented among creatures in play. A second to Zap. Stealth Mode is one Amber, whenever you play it, your opponent cannot play action cards during the next turn. Very good. Sensor Chief Garcia, three power, play, fight, reap. Keys cost plus two amber during your opponent's next turn. Lieutenant Kirkars, five power, taunt, hazardous three. You'll be surprised just how relevant the hazardous three is. It does some major work. Explo Rovers, three power, skirmish, may be played as an upgrade instead of a creature. With the text, this creature gains skirmish. Got two of those. Commander Chan, four power, fight, reap. Use another friendly creature. Too bad that isn't a play effect, because that would have doubled up with Morpheus there. Now we're on to Sorions, and it's Triumph. One Amber whenever you play it. If there are no enemy creatures, exalt each friendly creature. If you do, and there are six or more friendly creatures, forge a key at no cost. Key cheats are really important in Key Forge. If we get a lot of Sorion creatures, we might be able to get that free key. Falafasaurus, four power reap. You may look at the top three cards of your deck, archive one, add one to your hand, and discard one. Gosh, these new houses are just absurd. Centurion Stenopius, three power, two armor. Gets plus three power for each amber on it. Play, fight, reap, you may exalt it. Oh my, so that with the Morpheus. I know we'd be putting two amber on here, but that'd be a nine power immediately. Oh, and we have two of them, very nice. Tricerian Legionaries, five power, one armor, taunt. Play, ward a friendly creature. This card is a little bit busted. I mean, honestly, five power, one armor, taunt is a good card to begin with. Giving a creature ward, it's next level. Theros Centurion is 6 power, 1 armor, play, fight, capture an amber. Okay, once again, doubles up with that Morpheus. Phalanx Strike, amber whatever you play. Choose a creature, deal 1 damage to it for each friendly creature. You may exalt a friendly creature to repeat the preceding effect. For those of you that have already played with this card, you know just how good it is. Legatus Raptor, 4 power, 1 armor, fight, you may exalt it. If you do, ready and use another friendly creature. <laughs> Very nice. So we have Commander Chan and Star Alliance that allows us to use other creatures. And also inside of Sorions, we have it again. Oh, and a second one of those. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> three. <laughs> that is really cool. I'm liking what this deck does, especially because we got that tribute in here as well. Man, that is a lot of Sorion creatures. I look forward to going back through all that just to see how high that count is. Imperium, one Amber W plate. Ward, two friendly creatures. Gosh, this is going to do so much work, especially with those Raptors, because now it doesn't matter if our opponent has a bigger board than us. We can ward them. Fight, get the fight effect, that is awesome. Oh god, there's two Imperiums. Whoa, 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 I cannot wait to play with this deck. And now we're on to Disc, and Wretched Doll makes a return, we opened one yesterday as well. It's an artifact action. If there's a Doom Counter in play, destroy all creatures with Doom Counters. Otherwise, put a Doom Counter on a creature. Blood Shard Imp, two power, after a creature reaps, its controller must sacrifice it. Hmm, if this deck is gonna play the way I think it will, we're gonna be controlling our opponent's board Mainly with our creatures, I don't know if we actually play this. Rot Grub, one power. Play, your opponent loses one amber. Reap, archive it so it can be used again. And another one of those. Not finished with you, Amber W, play it. Shuffle any number of creatures from your discard pile into your deck. 
Lithol is five power, fight, reap, capture an amber. So amber control inside this. Inspector, two power, destroyed. Purge a random card from your opponent's hand. A second one of those. I like Inspector. I think it's a fine card. The real problem with it is this though. Your opponent can call a house, play all the cards they want to play out of that house, take out the Inspector at that time. The card you're going to purge isn't really going to be relevant for that turn. I mean, yes, you could destroy this on your own turn, but I definitely don't want to have to do it with a fight. I don't want to fight with the Inspector. I want to reap and just constantly get Amber from having this thing out on the board. Now, I guess it's okay if you have some sort of board wipe to use with this, then it just becomes an additional effect and that's fine because you want your opponents to not have the cards in their hand at the start of the turn. Oh, well, and Harbinger of Doom actually does help take care of that. Two power, three armor, destroy, destroy each creature. I don't know if I actually want to play this. I guess this card does help out if our opponent starts to run away with the game at the beginning. Uh, but as I said, I think our Sorions are going to be pretty good about controlling the board. And our Star Alliance is a pretty good house as well, where we don't necessarily want to destroy the creatures, but it is good to at least have one of these in here, at least for that option. Oh, and we have two of them. Hmm. Binding Irons, your opponent gains three chains. And the last card, oh, it's another Binding Irons, okay. Binding Irons is good. I do like seeing those in multiples. Obviously, two is the max you can get. All right, let's go through, get our Amber up. I feel like the Amber count was a little bit lower, and I think that was because we had quite a few creatures in here. Might only be three or four in Sorion max. Okay, at four. Let's see what we have in Star Alliance. Okay, let's count it up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe a free key, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten amber is really low. But once again, we do have a lot of creatures in here. Let's check out the amber control. Xeno training is nice for that. It's mainly going to be in the form of creatures. Okay, lithol, rot grubs, very nice. The Centurion. Sensor Chief Garcia. And this is also a really cool card with that Morpheus because we can play this and this one single card will make our opponent have to forge for 10 and that's big. All right, so let's check out the Ever Control. One, five, six. Okay, six is not bad. One sixth of your deck being able to help you control in some ways is very nice. And a couple of these are bigger Amber Control. Said so Sensor Chief, making it cost plus two. Centurion typically will be able to control about two of them. Lithol might get one or two. And Xeno Training actually has a chance of capturing three, so that's pretty nice. All right, let's go and actually bring up all the creatures because that's where this deck actually is going to excel at, just having a big old board. And hopefully controlling our opponent's board down to nothing so we can get that free key off Triumph. Yeah, you know, that also makes Harbinger of Doom such a bigger gamble. I'm not sure if we can play him. As I said, it might be just one of those nice board resets, but nothing we're just going to throw on the board willy-nilly. All right, so count them up. We have one, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three creatures. Very nice. But I said maybe these Harbingers of Doom might not actually get to count them in our creature count. They might be a little bit of discard fodder. But yeah, that's still really powerful. This Morpheus, I am so impressed with this card. Look at all the creatures we have in here that's doubling their effects. Officer Gray, Chan, the Centurions, two of those. Oh, the other Triceran Legionary, getting that ward twice. Oh, that is so good. I like that. Rock Grub happening twice, that could be big. Sensor Chief, we know that. The other Centurion. Yeah, that's actually really solid. I hope we can actually protect that, whether it's through wards or just taunt creatures. And I believe we had two taunt creatures. We had one in Sorion and one inside of Starline, so that's real nice. There's a good chance I'm actually going to hold on to Morpheus in my hand until I draw the Kirkar at the same time. Unless I see my opponent's Archon and I feel like they don't have enough ways to deal with it right off the bat, this is what I'm going to do. I really want to protect this thing because I want to be able to play across multiple houses and get these effects twice. That effect is so big, that can just win games for you. And so I'm pretty sure we're going to win by controlling our opponent's board and then being able to get some reaps out of our big dinos. Let's see exactly how many big dinos we had. Because that, I believe, is what the board is going to look like whenever we win the game. So I believe that's all of them. Okay. Man, it felt like it was quite a bit. Was that like seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's even better. 
That Triumph actually has decent odds of doing a lot of work. And that's that we have all this ward too to help protect them even if they have some amber on top of them. That is really, really good. And let's say our opponent can deal with a couple of these guys early on. That not finished with you, bring it back to Sorion so we can then later on have that big board again. Is going to make this deck extremely resilient and that is really cool to look at. Heck, even using these Explo Rovers to give some of these bigger creatures skirmish. I mean, putting that on the Raptor so you always get the fight effect is going to be insane. Uh, definitely putting it onto the Thero Centurion so that we can keep attacking for 6 power. Keep capturing Amber. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, this deck looks really fun, guys. I can't wait to try this. Overall, it didn't have too many cards that aren't that great. Uh, really, I believe the weakest card is going to be the Wretched Doll here. We'll just get you out of here. But yeah, overall, this looks like a really solid deck. Very soon, we'll be starting ratings for these decks. I've now seen quite a bit of Worlds Collide. To have a better overall opinion of what I think these decks are going to do against other Worlds Collide decks, as well as against the older sets. So expect ratings to probably pop up within maybe a week, maybe a little before then. Alright guys, well, as always, I want to thank you very much for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.